Flathead Lake is one of the most pristine of the large lakes in the world, and the water quality is spectacular. The Flathead Lake Biological Station is the oldest active biological station in the United States. Flathead Lake and the Biostation greatly benefit the regional economy. The lake alone boosts property values by six to eight billion dollars. Our nature-based tourism economy accounts for more than 25 percent of our region's entire economy. And the Biostation over the last 30 years has brought in more than 40 million dollars in research grants. I never thought it would be as successful uh, as it was and, and still is. I can't help using the word unique and uh, that's primarily the, the workings of Jack Stanford. The work that Jack and the other faculty and staff do at this station is absolutely um, astonishing work. They are true scholars in every sense of the word. Our mission is to conduct research in ecology with a focus on water and then to use that information to enlarge and illustrate our education program so that we are training a new generation of water stewards. The research at the Biostation is actually quite diverse. Obviously large lake ecology is one of our specialties with Flathead Lake in our backyard but we're also known for research on large river systems, floodplains, surface groundwater interactions. We have done a lot of studies on salmon ecology throughout the Pacific Rim. So we have a phenomenal record of the biology, the various organisms, the fishes in the lake, and the chemistry uh, going back 100 years. It's extremely important for us to make our information relevant to local people so that they are better informed about policies that influence water quality and therefore their quality of life. The greatest threats are continued introduction of non-native species to the lake, either intentionally or accidentally, and um, increasing nutrients, nitrogen and phosphorus coming into the lake and alteration of the landscape through mining, logging, other activities that could introduce nutrients or other metals or pollution. We're constantly uh, getting questions from local landowners about what's going on in the lake, what's going in the, on in their yard, what's going on in their fields, and so we help them understand uh, how their, their life along the lake or along the river fits into the overall landscape of the crown of the continent. The quality of what goes on at uh, the biological station is, of course, entirely dependent on the quality of the people who are working there. The quality of faculty, students, and staff. Okay, we're done. Let's meet at 11 tonight. Uh, simply superb. It's very important to spend the money monitoring water quality now instead of trying to mitigate it later because in many cases it can't be mitigated later. FLBS work is important to landowners because we're helping to protect water quality. Fortunately, a local family came to us to help. They said that they've gotten so much joy in their lives from Flathead Lake that they wanted to give back and so they came to us with a million dollar pledge to match that million dollars. My name is Tom Bansack and I play a lot of roles at the Biological Station. I'm a research scientist, I'm a lake and river ecologist, I'm an educator, outreach officer, boat captain, scuba diver, and more recently I've taken on a role as development coordinator. An investment in water quality today ensures that you and your family can continue to enjoy the Flathead Lake that you've grown to love.